groovy. Hello, everybody. We're here. Welcome, everybody, to a PvP experimental scrimmage. So today we would we were expecting to have a Reddit, a uh, red sorry I'm looking at Reddit, a red circuit event where blue circuit players come down and do coaching and uh, tons of interest. Everybody says great idea. Man, love it. Let's do it, etc. Bunch of real life got in the way, and we did not have two full teams that wanted to do it. Like Elric was busy, uh, had to had to run out of town this weekend, uh, do some stuff tonight. Uh, uh, Anti Anti says he's otherwise occupied. Fiore was ready to go. Xterm not so much. He's in the booth with me today. He'll be there in just a minute. How are you guys? If you do exclamation point PvP event in my chat, my bot will give you uh, the link to the Reddit post. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, welcome. Um, for today, in my uh, this is also being live streamed on April 28, 2018, uh, for those of you who are tuning in via YouTube. So most of what I say is for the live event and for the folks participating in chat. Uh, exclamation point PvP event in my Twitch chat will give you the bot link. And uh, or give you a link to the Reddit post and um, etc. Um, so, a couple things up front. I've disabled follower alerts, sub alerts, tips, bits, um, all of those things that we would normally celebrate because we're setting this up on uh, for uh, for YouTube. Um, I've cleared all of that out um, for today. I will see them. I may even say thank you, but I'm going to say thank you up front for all the support that you guys have given me over the last, uh, through this event and over the last, uh, coming up on my third year anniversary of streaming. And uh, it's been one of the greatest, one of the greatest things I've done. Let's say that. So everyone who's pouring in support um, for, for me and Ash and the stream and these competitors and all of that, thank you so much for everything that, uh, for everything that comes in. Today, uh, we have we do have two teams that are going to brawl, but this is a custom scenario. This is not, this is like anyone we've uh, played, but this is unlike anyone we've played before. All the details are out there on the Reddit post. Uh, it should be in my chat right now. Go read through it. In this way, uh, a couple things. One of the major differences of this one: there are four ways to win. Number one, launch a rocket. Number two. Destroy the enemy silos, all the other enemy silos. In fact, today there's only two teams, so just destroy the other enemy silo, and you win. So, race to the rocket, or race to kill the other person's rocket. Which one to do? Third way to win. Outscore them. Outpoint, outplay, outlast. And uh, there is a 100 million uh, point goal that will immediately declare you the winner. Fourth way to win is drag the other opponent into deep water and win on points. So whoever wins at the end of three hours uh, will be, whoever has the highest points at the end of three hours will be declared the winner. Other customizations. So, uh, so keep that in mind. There will be four ways to win today. Um, other ways to, uh, other ways to, uh, other things that are customized. DEFCON mode is enabled. Many people don't know about um, many people don't know about DEFCON mode. DEFCON mode is something that uh, Clonin added uh, very early on, and it unlocks random researches every few minutes. And so you start out, and uh, you just get these researches. It's it's very very random. 
Um, but in this customization, and, and that is in the that is in the vanilla game, is random research just kind of uh, falls into you and fall and uh, happens and and becomes part of your uh, is added to you, added to you and your team. In this mode, DefCon mode is enabled, but uh, teams get to choose their research and they get to path up it, which uh, which is a very interesting thing. So, do you go for do you use one on uh, nuclear? Because nuclear does have kind of a long setup, right? Do you use one to go? You go to artillery, or which which, or do you go for points? You go for the rocket, right? It's uh, it's very different. Bases are also not just duplicated, but they're mirrored. So if someone has an inside uh, has a a patch of oil that faces the other team, the other team does too. They're mirrored. Um, also, the extended duplicate starting areas extend to 320 tiles. It's like outside of their base more than the normal one, normal uh, vanilla. It includes some surrounding patches. So if someone has an oil patch just outside their base, the other team does too. And this is one that's interesting is for the first 20 minutes of the encounter, there's fast blueprinting, which means the personal bots are very, very fast, and you have an infinite personal, uh, you have infinite uh, energy in your personal roboports. All of this is listed out on the uh, on the um, Reddit post, exclamation point PVP event, for those of you in chat, if you want to go out there and look from where I'm reading. Also, the starting conditions are set out there. What they get, the map resource settings, the combat adjustments, which are one of the first times we've done this, is we've adjusted some of the damage, up a few things, up some health, reduced some of the damage, specifically uh, uh, PLDs, personal laser defenses. Um, the terrain settings, the map advanced settings, all of that is out there for you to, to check out. You click on those links in the Reddit post, it should take you to an Imgur uh, picture of exactly what's ha what's uh, going on. We're all today. We are all in the Factorio uh, Discord channel. I see the teams beginning to gather there as as well. Um, you may bring uh, two other notes. You may bring in external blueprints. Competitors may bring in external blueprints, um, and no biters, no pollution. So there you go. Uh, it should be a very quick start because if you uh, if you check out the starting equipment that they have, those chests are loaded. I want to say there's at least two rows of power. There's 40 pump jacks, 25 refineries, a uh, hundred chemical plants. They could have up oil up and running very very quickly. Um, it looks like. Um, they could pretty easily have three smelting lines of um, of steel furnaces, and then probably ten lines of stone furnaces at the very very first minute. So you could get some smelting up and going very very quickly, very very quickly in this in this scenario. So. Uh, Without further ado, let's go over and um, let's go over and talk to um, let's go over and talk to Exterminator, my partner today. New guy that I uh, a, a guy who's no stranger to you guys. He is a streamer. Um, he is a uh, competitive eater. <laughs> uh, he's. He's one of the great. He's a great Factorio player, and he's uh, one of the greatest guys you'll ever meet. Uh, he is Exterminator Five. He has a uh, go follow him out there on his channel and his YouTube uh, and his YouTube. He's got some great uh, great stuff out there. Great instruction. Uh, everybody put some food uh, food icons and food emotes in chat for Exterminator, and let's bring him in. Hey Exterminator, are you there? He's in. I am here. I hey. just gave you one of the greatest intros of in the history of intros. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. I heard it. Thank you so much. I am indeed <laughs> a competitive eater. <laughs> that was great. Oh man, he's a professional. Yeah, professional. Like if you you need um, if you want to step your game up, this is the guy you go follow. All right, on my uh, on my screen right now. Let's put up the the teams. Um, so. These folks are uh, 3RA is really uh, putting together the teams and oh, great. I got it. All right, Jimmy, disable that. Disable the sound drops. The sound drop just fired off. Great. That's one thing I forgot today. Yeah, great. 
Um, uh, the teams are up on my on my screen. Um, uh, looks like Team North and Team South. <laughs> uh, hang on, let me let me make sure Exterm's volume is up correctly. By the way, I've passed on the server uh, IP and the password over to um, the, the guys from Thra, and they should be able to distribute them accordingly. Let's turn him up a little bit. There we go. Uh, so starting with Team North, Epo, Dank Memer, and Acido. No, uh, no stranger. We uh, recognize the name Acido from being on. Uh, I want to say he was on. Uh, was he on Anti's team? Whose team was he on? Um, and then we have one no show, which is Eiffel. Um, so 3RA is working on getting another competitor in their message. Message Juicy Juice. If you are not in this, uh, in this competition, and you would uh, like to be. I see one guy from 3RA who's always ready for a uh, fight. Uh, Team South is Alastra Nikopai. Also, uh, I recognize Nikopai. He's NHM with some numbers after it. Uh, he's been in the blue circuit before. Stig219, as well as uh, Dan Geo, speedrunner, who is uh, has the currently has the world record for uh, run... Oh, let's go. Let's go find that. Let's see which one he has, and I'll link it in chat for you. Dan Geo has uh, has a speed run for. Um, it's one of these that's not on the def default one. It's uh, the miscellaneous run. Watch your step. I could not remember it. Here you go. It's the one for watch your step. I'll put it in my chat. Dan Geo, uh, watch your step is is you need to be killed uh killed by a locomotive and he's gotten himself killed by a locomotive in 26 minutes <laughs> that's awesome uh what a dubious honor i guess right so um all right anyway uh he also he took that from rain look at there rain's got it at 26 minutes 22 seconds he's beat him by 15 seconds yeah there you go so dan geo current world record holder what a hero gets himself killed by a locomotive faster than any anybody else <laughs> anyway he's competing today uh you can uh you can so just to be clear up a bunch of questions that are going on in chat this is not a red circuit event um red circuit event what is pretty much canceled so we're going to do this experimental run instead so the guys from thra offered up the um offered up the um uh the scenario and custom coded an event and i saw the winning conditions uh let me put those back up is there's four ways to win launch a rocket destroy enemy silos reach a point goal or just be um uh, be the high high point score when time expires. That's super interesting to me. I like I like having the multiple ways to win because it gives competitors options, right? So that you definitely you don't necessarily have to be a speed runner to get there. I mean, that's one speed runners can get there and launch a rocket, but also PVPers can go win by killing the other person's silo, right? Um, lots of good options. So. Uh, so we're going to try this. We're going to bring in bringing in some players. I think there's I think looking at that players, there's a mix of of uh, veteran and intermediate players in there. There's no coaches that are in this team. So that, that was one of the things about the red circuit was that we were going to bring in coaches uh, from the blue circuit, which are, I'm reserving for the best players. We're going to bring those down uh, kind of down one level, bring in the next wave of um, of factorio players and kind of train them up and and um, also drive subscriptions and participation into the streamers that participate in these events. Such, such a good idea. Um, if, we can, if we can pull it off, uh, we're going to try and do it in late May. Um, we'll try and do a Red Circuit event in late May. Uh, two things to remind everybody. Uh, also, in that, uh, in that Reddit event, uh, or in the, in the Reddit post, um, I was typing event, all the streamers that are participating today, including me, Exterminator, Psycho, Juicy Juice, Nico Pie. If there's someone else I forget, make sure you message me. I can put it up in there. Uh, on the uh, today, um, as usual, I would like to ask that you, uh, these competitors um, are uh, let them 
compete and experience things organically. No stream sniping, no advanced warning. If someone's going to come uh, um, crush them with a tank, please let them be let uh, do the honor of the competitors to let them sur the, give them the honor of surprise attack as well as let them be surprised and uh, don't stream snipe. So appreciate your help with that. Um, one more bit of maintenance that I need to do. I need to enable, uh, we have a giveaway today. So if you're watching on YouTube, this does not apply to you. This, this is happens only for the live event. Uh, today, my steam, my stream is giving away a, our monthly $20 steam card giveaway. I'm going to enable that right now. And it's exclamation point, um, uh, ticket space, the number of uh, in-channel currency that you have. It's, it's uh, and we do it on, on tokens. So let's see, ticket one. And there we go. Let's make sure I'm in. Okay. All right, it is working. I'm gonna cancel, and I'm going to do it again. All right. Let's start that again. Okay, uh, the giveaway is up. Exclamation point giveaway for all the instructions and uh, all of that. So... Uh, tomorrow, all of my uh, we reset all the in-channel currency every month, so all of it's going away. There's no reason for you not to shove everything into the pot. Um, also, if you want to stay till the end of the stream, you earn over time. You can exclamation point spin. You can do all of that good stuff as we um, um, at to the end. So, if you um, if uh, if you have it, uh, as many tokens, go ahead and do exclamation point ticket space the number. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I gotta stop those sound drops. Damn it, Shady. Shady's banned. <laughs> oh, mercy. Okay. Let's do this. Alright. Okay. Sound drops disabled. Good job, Shady. You're banned. Okay, uh, let's go in and uh, let's see who else. All right, I'll get a message on Discord. Oh, okay. Um, let me go in and replace. We have found a substitute for Eiffel. There's someone named Cortex whom I have not met or seen play. There you go. All right, teams and team names are listed up top. And uh, so uh, you can. You see who's competing. We, if we, I don't think everybody, I don't think anyone else is set to join us. There were a maximum of, of, of five players per team. But uh, otherwise, I think everyone's in place. Um, I right. will need the info to join. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, I, I got left out, but. <laughs> no problem. Hang on. I sent it to just about everyone. There you go. All right. Anyone else? So Juice or uh, Psycho? Does anyone else need the uh, server information? Uh, again, we're we're hosting on my server in uh, located in Dallas, Texas, and uh, it's a Haas has uh, lots of GBs and lots of uh, gigahertz. I went, I swung by Fry's and threw a, threw a little bit more in, onto it the other day, so should be good. Um, is saying he needs uh, voice channel access. Oh, okay. He, um, let me see. Voice channel access for Cortex. Swapped out Eiffel. Okay, have Cortex go into the um, a private? No. There used to be a holding area. Used to have we used to have a holding area added. Okay, try again. Let's make sure we're all here. Cool. Victorio. All right. Making sure I don't have any other announcements before we dig into it. All right. Okay, let's jump in and let's talk to uh, the South team first. All right. Sounds good. All right. Hey, guys. Team South, how are you guys doing today? We are doing fine. All right. 
big old lack of communication, but we <laughs> are going to Oh dear. Hello. All right. Hey, Dan Geo, welcome. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's make sure all the volumes are set. Okay. On everybody. There we go. Okay. Um, all right. So today, uh, today's event is unlike anything uh, I think we've done before. Remember, we've uh, let's put these team two up. Remember, there's four ways to win. So you guys can either launch a rocket, kill the other person's silo, uh, outpoint them to 100 million points, or you can, uh, or you can just be the high scorer when time expires. So uh, lots of different strategies you can do, lots of different de um, uh, decisions to make. So uh, uh, very new to me too. I'm, I'm, I guess there's not a ton of, of uh, time to really get a strategy uh, a strategy together, but you guys, the good news is you guys do have options. Um, remember, uh, one thing I will point out to you, the first 20 minutes you'll have uh, fast bots and infinite bot energy and external blueprints are allowed and you have plenty of, um, of equipment in your starting area to get, get going very, very fast. So um, if you guys can verify for me that you're logged into the server and um, make sure every, all four of you guys are in the server and you should be logged into a paused game. Everybody good? I'm good. I'm good. All right. I'm good. Okay, and Elastra is uh, thumbs up? Yes. Uh, I'd say that. Okay. Yes. Very, very good. Okay. Now, what we'll do is um, uh, Juice messed up with the uh, starting conditions, and so... Um, what will uh, what will end up happening is you'll drop in and you click on auto assign, and then Juice will uh, uh, Juice will make sure you guys are swapped to the right team uh, once you okay. log in. The, the the teams are set to auto assign instead of player pick a team, so we will spend a few minutes getting everything correct right at the at the very beginning. Uh, the in game chat is just readable for the team. Yeah, I think you you have to shout to do. Uh, for everybody. Okay. Yep. So if I write anything, it's only for the team. That's good. Yeah. So it's it's uh, if it's last if it's uh, juice can confirm, but if it's if it's like the last like the last event, uh, I was typing stuff only to Mojo because I was on the spectator team and I f kept forgetting to shout and broadcast to everybody. So. Okay. All right. So I will. Um, so you'll see some in-game shouting from me. Like I'll probably shout. Uh, I'll probably give a command like, "Hey, uh, halftime is there. You know, one hour left, thirty minutes left, etc." And uh, or I'll, I'll send some messages in game to everybody and do some broadcasting. All right. Okay. Any questions? No, I don't think so. All right. No question. All right. Okay. Let's go on up to the North team. Okay, Team North. How are you guys? We are good. Good. Very good. Very good. good deal. Okay, I'm gonna turn that down. All right, so uh, just like the last, uh, just like the, I told the last team, um, uh, again, you guys have four ways to win. Um, launch a rocket, kill the other person's sil other team's silo, um, uh, reach the 100 million point total, or uh, just be in the lead when, um, uh, uh, when time expires. Um, lots of different ways to win. And remember, you will have um, you will have fast bots with infinite energy for the first 20 minutes only, and then uh, so you should be able to get started very very quickly because there's a lot of equipment in your in your uh, in your inbox, um, and so use those 20 minutes uh, wisely to get everything planted and get going. Um, there's uh, lots er, almost everything is there for you. So. Um, Again, typing into uh, typing into chat is just broadcast to your team. You have to do uh, slash shout to broadcast to everybody else. Um, and I think that's all of the uh, questions that South Team had. Do you guys have any questions? We are ready to go. I ready to go. Can you guys? To go. All right. Can you guys confirm that everyone is logged into this into the pods server and um, uh, and uh, ha ha was able to connect? Okay. Yeah. I'm in. I'm in. Okay. I'm in. I'm in. All right. Good deal. Uh, one other thing that I'll I'll tell you is that uh, there was an error in the setup 
of this map. Uh, what I'll get you guys to do is go ahead and auto. Um, uh, the teams were set to auto assign instead of player chooses. So go ahead and auto assign yourself to a team, and then Juice will re uh, resituate everybody once we're on and make sure the teams are uh, are set properly. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so don't join spectator. Just join. Just hit auto auto assign the team, and then it'll uh, it'll go in. So. Thanks. All right. All right, good luck, guys. Thanks. Good luck. All right. All righty. <clears throat> okay. Um, I think we're ready. So let's go ahead. Let me go ahead and log in myself. All right. Very, very interesting. Oh, I do have a starting. I do have a starting call. <laughs> Uh, I think medium gives you gives you a car. Is that right? Yeah. No, we took the car out. You took the car out. Oh, okay. Yeah, you gotta make it yourself now. All right. So you should be able. You should. You should definitely be able to make a. Yeah, you should be able to make a car pretty quickly. Like you have. You have all the pieces for it. I think. Right, but you don't have the technology. So. Oh. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, all right, this will be interesting to see what happens. So I, I'm, I've got a, uh, ready? I've got a lot of uh, questions here. Hang on a second. Uh, let me grab, let me grab my little uh, sound drop here. <laughs> my, my chat is gonna kick my butt if I don't do this. All right, everybody. Uh, good luck, everybody. And uh, three, two. One and begin. <laughs> All right, there you go, NG. <laughs> All right. Uh, map size is normal. Oh, look at this. Okay, they have a, each team looks like they have a silo in the center of their base, so they're given a silo. They don't have the rocket technology, though, in their tree. Let's put the teams up here and the scores. Uh, I assume that is it intended for me to not be able to move around the map? So hit the uh, use your map. It go your uh, as a spectator like, be in map map form all the time and you can zoom in zoom out and move around you don't so, have... okay but i so i can only view them by like zooming in on the spot i yeah. can't like okay well i can i can move um i can move around I'm need, I, I guess i need to rejoin i'm okay. stuck okay really the only uh, but i stay in map map view 90 percent of the time so okay. yeah go ahead and rejoin Right. Cortex. All right. Where's the timer? All right. Three minutes have passed of their quick setup. Can anyone else move? Uh, anyone else move? Okay. I just seem to be able to move, but these guys all seem stuck. Yeah. They broke it. If you can't I think they may, may all need to just rejoin. If you cannot move, rejoin. Uh, Epo, is, Epo can move. I can move. That's strange. See? I thought they, I thought they got that bug. We're at 1638. Maybe they reintroduced it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. So looks like inside the base. Oh, look here. Looks like inside the base they have they have some uh, water, three oil, not a ton, a million copper, but a small patch. Um, one point eight, a bunch of iron. So it looks like three million iron total. Maybe 
three seven iron if you count this patch over here. Uh, thirty seven k stone, one hundred fifty k oil, maybe an issue. In this case, uh, I think that 150k oil should carry you through the end game. Um, I don't know that you'll have to switch over to solid fuel. Maybe. Okay, everyone else is. Uh, looks like they're moving. Oh, okay. Come and see your background. All right, here we'll switch over. All right, now that we're all in, we'll switch over. Jimmy, you can do the mod buong. All right. All right. Let's look at the teams and make sure we are in at the right teams. New factorial player has entered. All right, team. This is South. It's like Team North is already starting to get some stuff done. South still seems stuck, potentially. Nope, they're moving. I see Dan. Well, I see one guy moving. All right. I think we should just start. Cortex is AFK or something, so he'll get in when he gets in. Okay. So Stig is... Elastra can move. Stig and... Nicopie. And Dan Geo have not moved. Stig. Uh, well, I told him not to move until we get it sorted. Oh. So I'll tell him to start and see if it's true. Okay. All right, they're moving. Okay, there we go. All right, I saw four of them move. All right. There All we right, go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's see. There we go. It All looks right. like. Poor South is already quite a bit behind from that. Yeah, I've got... Uh, okay, blueprints are down. What's going on with... Uh, we, can't, we won't be able to see their technology tree, but we should see the research pop up. So DEFCON mode is enabled. They shouldn't have to do any research. Oh, here come some bots. Acid is already... Oh, man, look at those bots. Yeah, They're look so at there. Fast. Yeah, everyone has to select a research to get going. And then DEFCON mode will slowly unlock it. Okay, EPO selected engines and logistics 2 to get red belts. Let's see, in their starting area. How many... Uh, so they start out with modular armor? Yes, modular armor with one personal rubble core and the rest of the rest of it filled with solars. Solars, okay. And the rubble port has infinite energy for the first twenty minutes, right? Right, right. And their bots are just murderous fast, and, and the bots go down to uh, like speed one when um, at, at the very end or, or at the at the end of twenty minutes, right? That's correct. Okay. All right. So acido is already. Um, got f uh, four smelting lines into a sp looks like a speed run build for tooling. Right, that's pretty smart, is to get your tooling build up. So something I'm noticing, which is kind of an interesting thing, is that the uh, North team went, like, took the strategy of just taking their burners and throwing them all down on something for the points. And I think that South potentially forgot they had those burner mining drills because they haven't used them at all. Yeah. And, and are very much lacking in points because of that. Yeah, two thousand a minute for uh, for North, and it's got to be that. It's probably got to be that coal. So they're not really pulling it uh, much more up. They're gonna have a power issue if they don't get going quick. Oh, but uh, Epo's got a. Oh, he's got an interesting power build here. This is one I don't think I've. I think I don't think I've seen this one in a long time. There's Cortex. Five. So there's 20. See, he's not using the burner inserters either. He's using fast electric inserters. That could get him in trouble later. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so. There we go. 
Let's look at Team North here. Epo and Harmless Belt must be Dank Memer. Yes. Yes, okay. He, he's good. a man of many names. Good, good, good. All right. Okay, now everybody's in. Now Cortex is in. Um, there we go. All right. So we'll s okay, uh, looks like Team South has some stuff going. They're pulling coal. Oh, power, and they've got a uh, they've got a full line of, of uh, power going. Okay. Yep. So they got power up first before the other team, but they need to. They're going to run out of that first. They have ten minutes left to use their bots. And it looks like they're manually placing, um, doing their smelting line. If if uh, Acido can. F uh, complete this build oh look oh he's <laughs> he's he's pulled they pulled up the uh the burner miners uh and <laughs> those bots look how fast they're going yeah, i'm noticing that uh north team is utilizing blueprints very extensively whereas the south team hasn't actually used them at all yet yep even with these very powerful bots available to them yep yeah, I'm a little surprised by that. Let's see. This one is is contingent on some provider chests that they don't necessarily have. Robo ports, but look there, circuits are off the line. And yeah, look, we've got green circuits, and it looks like level two assemblers will be very soon. Tool belt, not a bad investment. Okay. Oh, those must those filter inserters must be just markers to let everybody know what what goes where. Yeah. All right. Okay, irons off the line, coppers off the line. Second iron, and this is this must be iron plus steel and oh stone over here too. Okay, now there's just a race to uh, to line it up. All right, okay, Dan Geo is going to go over there and see if he can't do some oil. It's coming up on the twenty. It's coming up on thirteen minutes. They're going to have uh, seven minutes or so to uh, to do their bots. And, oh, there we go. Stig is using bots. Uh, they, Stig just placed that second line. I think he's going to blueprint the smelting lines and just get those going. He's just using in-game. It doesn't look like he, he's uh, bringing, brought in any external ones. All right, good deal. That might be a pain, uh, having, uh, having this silo right covering up your iron. Yeah, I was noticing that too. That's really in the way. Yeah. Not to deal with that. It might have been up over two million iron if that if that silo wasn't there, but there you go. So I like it looks it looks like my chat is uh rooting for the South team because they're not using blueprints. <laughs> they want them <laughs> to win with manual labor. <laughs> Good job. Uh Already got oil up, it looks like, on the south side, which is going to uh, rack up quite a few points for oh, them. Yeah. yeah, they're 11K now. Watch this, too, because uh, oil's some good points. All right, one second. Go south team. All right. Yeah, so south, I think south may, may catch up at this rate. They got behind with the no blueprints, but 
they've, uh, I think, taken a, a track that will net them more points uh, early on here with the oil and additional smelting. Yeah. Uh, if if they can get the... Uh, see, Dan stopped it just crude. Um, and I was wondering if he was going to go ahead and set up the three levels, uh, three level processing. Yeah, that would that would really help them. Yep. Oh, look. Uh, speaking of which, they're using the last five minutes over on North to do three level processing. Look, Epo is putting all the refineries down. This is really smart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at there. That's gonna skyrocket them right there. Yep. And but they're not. They're not uh, storing any of that oil. Doesn't look like it. They're going straight to from uh, pump jack to refinery. They should probably put a couple of tanks in between those two. It would ne it never hurts in in a game like this where produ production PVP is its production scoring is one of the ways to win. You should does not hurt to stockpile some inventory. No, not at all. You definitely want to keep those machines running uh, constantly if possible. And then. See, their next oil is outside the outside the base. Okay, I didn't even look at the uh, the outside yet. It looks like um, turrets with the piercing ammo in. Uh, no, our uh, the only things that that are um, that are di banned from this game is it's the artillery remote. So artillery is in, but the remote is not. Um, Let's see. Oh, fish. And the, 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 the sound uh, speaker. Um, the, <laughs> and the sound speaker has a really good reason for it. Um, 3RA was the unfortunate victim of a griefer that got on their server and hooked it up and then left. And it terrorized all of them the whole game because they, well, they couldn't find it. And it goes off. I think oh, that... Juice, did it go off for everybody, right? Uh, it went off for everyone. They, they didn't leave. They didn't leave? Um, they were asked to take it down, and they refused, and they are asked again, and they refused. So so the, so the, the, so the speaker goes off, and both all teams hear it, right? Yes, initially. And then we ran a command to disable global sounds. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> that worked. And then a later game, they came back and were doing it, and then they would go to the enemy team and place the speakers around their walls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, anyway, yeah. I mean, at some point, you know, players are like velociraptors. They're like, they'll keep poking until they find a way past the fence and <laughs> yeah, yeah. And get mm -hmm. to their target. Like, they'll, they'll figure out a way. <laughs> so, anyway, if you, if you got to the PvP event uh, uh, link in my chat, you'll go see... Those three little um, three little icons at the very bottom of the picture in the starting conditions, and it's the the artillery remote fish for the health, um, and uh, as well as uh, the speaker. <laughs> it's great. And the fish is uh, the reason why we banned that is also kind of interesting. And anyone who plays on a PVC piece server where fish is not banned, you can use this as a tip to abuse it. But basically, you get fish early on, and you go to the enemy base. And you just keep munching fish as they hurt you, and you're basically invulnerable. Because oh. fish do so much healing. In early game, bullets just don't do enough damage. Right. All right, two minutes until slow speed, and uh, and uh, robo ports lose infinite energy. It's more like one and at one thirty. People leave their base. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, that's a huge one. Um, and it, it it looks like that the North team has prepared here to actually secure this oil right away outside their base. They've already run the pipes and power as far out as they can. Oh, they're going to get the one. Oh, see, they're getting the one south of their base towards the enemy. Okay. Yeah, which is kind of an interesting choice. That's definitely not, not one I would have chosen. Yeah. Or I guess, can they see north of their base? Can they see the ones above? Uh, surely, surely they yeah. can, right? The three... Yeah. 758% um, north, and then there's another 681 behind them. I can see it. I guess they were seduced by the four patches instead of the three. I guess. <laughs> yeah, it would have been actually more yield out back, and it definitely would have been safer. No, uh, no radars yet. 
they have do they have radar technology? I forget where that's unlocked. Or is it unlocked? That's just red and green, I think. Yeah. It's pretty early. It's pretty early. I'm curious if Team North um, goes for an early car, because I noticed they researched engines pretty early. Yep, so Team South is now putting down the three-phase oil, which is good. All right, a few more seconds, and then no rush is over, as well as uh, super bots. So far, very close. 20k to 17k a minute. I'll uh, I'll be really interested to see how early uh, one of the teams actually heads out to do PvP. If, if they're gonna try to rush it, or maybe build up their tech in uh, in weaponry and stuff, and maybe wait for like an hour or so. Let's see. All right, tooling is up and running. They have blue assemblers in. Uh, and uh, fast inserters are, well, they're not off the belt yet. It doesn't look like. Uh, belts, splitters, undergrounds, all there. Walls are being made. This is a great tooling build. Uh, this is a this is a perfect one to pull into something like this. Is a kind of an all in one. Uh, blueprint, very compact, one assembler for every each thing, you know, not bad at all. Looks a little little spaghetti, but uh, very speed runnish. All right, three phase oil is up. There is some oil, some of each three phase in a tank for Team North, and there goes their score. All their refining is good. Yeah, huge. All right, there's sulfur. Is also up, and that should be sulfuric right there, I think, for that tank. Maybe, yeah, and this is this has to be batteries right here. And then batteries will come out that side. So sulfuric goes to batteries, goes to uh, plastics on the very, very end. Looks like I've got some backwards belts up there at the very end of that, but that's that's uh, because the coals run down there. That's got to be plastic. This is a nice little build. Looks like it could scale pretty well as well if you just extend the refineries north south and then extend the chemical plants left Not yeah this is a really pretty well thought out build here mm -hmm. i like it oh and we uh this this build right here this tooling one zulon zulon says that bilka um made this uh mall layout to the second to last pvp event there you go good job bill wow nice Air 20. Who's I'm confused. Who is Air 20? Who's this Air? Join the event, or they join the chat. He was a uh, part of our Blue Circuit team. Oh. Um, I did not give him the server IP, so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Somebody leaked it. Uh oh. It changed too. It was unholy copper belts, but very compact. There you go. Also uh, uses the exact amount of steel chest. Oh, okay, good deal. All right, Team North starting to pull away in the points up to 30k a minute. They've got stone down. Stone going in there. All right, sulfuric is off the line for Team uh, Team North. Looks like a third, uh, three more smelting lines are going in. The bots can so remember the bots can still work. They're just now back down to um, mortal speed instead of superhero. 
All right, researching batteries to help get the last bit of that build. Plastics are off the line. So expect to maybe see some uh, some red boards soon. Be good. All right, Team South is expanding up to the oil, the also the oil that is forward uh, towards the enemy base. All right, so they both done <laughs> they both done the same thing. And Dan Geo, oh Dan has been killed by his own locomotive. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> oh, the goal is I had that off. I thought it was a hundred million. It was the goal is ten million. Okay, that is that is doable. Yeah, that's definitely doable. That's, I had that wrong. I need to uh, I need to change that. First two point goal, 10 mil. All right, well, correction. There you go. There's the new four ways to win. I'll put that up on the screen for a minute. Point goal of 10 million. Let me edit the Reddit post, too. There you go. It might be a little high. Psycho is saying I should lower it. You're probably I, right. <laughs> nah. I don't, it gets quick, man. The point totals go... If you leave a team alone for for very long, point totals start to really multiply. So I, it's it's true. Yeah, so it it goes up super quick. Ten million may be to, may be too low. Um, oh, in the last blue circuit event, I think we got up to nine something million, but we also had to do a lot of PvP fighting. If we were just focused on points the whole time, we could have definitely broken it. Right. Okay. Here's yeah. ten million points. I'm gonna put that in. All right. Reddit post updated. And uh, my my screen's updated too. All right, ten million. Uh huh. All right, Team South is bringing in some additional coal. It's like Norse points are going down quite. Oh no, they ran out of power. Uh oh. Let's go up there. Or Team North. Team North, yeah, is just completely out of power. They have a. Uh... Yep, and there that, you go. That issue we're talking about with the inserters. Yep. Now their inserters don't work. They should have used the burner inserters, and because without power, you can't use the inserter to do power, right? Yep. <clears throat> this is uh, this is gonna this is gonna set them back. Yeah. A, a fair bit. They got it turned back on, but just yeah. that little bit can really help a team catch up. Oh, they oh look here. Look at the very very first line on the right side of Team North. They do have one burner inserter. Oh yeah, <laughs> that may be their pilot light, right? <laughs> All right. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm down with that now. All right, I'm I'm good. Uh, That's actually a very interesting way to do it. I yeah. hadn't thought of that myself. Yeah, just one or maybe one or two to just get yourself back started, and then it, it'll just eventually ramp up. Yeah. All right. All right, I'm good with that. But I mean, even just from that outage right there, I mean, you can see South is now within. You know, yeah, they 30, pulled within uh, thirty-five thousand. Yeah, when they were like fifty plus behind. Yeah, and whoever was working on whatever they were working on, they got to stop and got to come over there and fix. You know, come over and fix it. Yep. I guess that's why. Uh, well, wait, look at look at what's going on here. Harmless Belt Bot has run the transatlantic power line. And is just, I guess, mapping. I guess just for yep. mission. Yeah, he's just placing. Yep, just radars. threw down a radar. Okay. He's near us. <laughs> okay. That's not a bad strategy. This is what Zulon did very well last uh, last game. Is. Just run out and place, uh, it was five solar panels and a radar, and leave it, right? And it wouldn't be a bad strategy to have uh, kind of a screen of radars in between you and the next and the next person, or in, in the next uh, enemy base, right? Just to know when they're Absolutely. coming, you know? Uh, this is a little, little less, a uh, little less technologically advanced because you got to run some power poles. But, uh, but yeah, some of those insert, uh, some of the uh, solar panels would do you, would do you just right. Um, that was a great strategy we saw last time. Yeah, being able to respond to an incoming attack before they're blasting your walls oh, makes huge. a huge difference. Yeah. All right. 
So players, with this DEFCON mode, players actually have to keep hitting the button after the... So DEFCON will just do the research, but players have to respond after the after the research completes the dun dun dun, dun and then they got to go choose right. another one, right? Right. Okay. So they're not having... Yeah, so it just kind of prevents them from having to make a build specifically for science. Right. So, so then the science, though, is like free i mean because these people you know they don't have a science build set up yes right okay Correct. so that's that's a really interesting way to do it yeah in defcon mode um normally you wouldn't do you would do you would basically take you would take no action and you just get science after a time right mm -hmm. yeah a random one Ra a random one and uh i mean basically a random number generator that the machine is choosing for you and this one you can uh you can choose it Oh, we got red belts for Team South is now red build, red red belts enabled. In fact, they've got uh, oh, yeah. they've got some smelting uh, iron smelting lines converted, which is not a bad idea. I mean, yeah. Look, if you oh, look at the corresponding copper belt right next to it, it's only what seven. Out of the twenty burners, or, or out of the twenty-four burners, are running. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, twenty-four, twenty-four uh, furnaces running, and only twenty-four furnaces there, and seven of them are running because the belt's so crowded. Uh, they need to use. They got full green production. Oh, they've got the uh, another tooling build up here. No red belts though. All right, so Nico's got something going. Got got some good stuff going. They're banking. They're also banking some red or some uh, some green chests. It's good. All right. Looks like the I'm Big Dipper is uh, being formed in uh, in power poles and radars underneath us. <laughs> he's gonna <laughs> yeah, do. Yeah, he's drawing out like some constellation or. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna do Orion next to, next to us over the right. I'm interested oh, yeah. in what I see uh, Team North doing. Uh, Cortex is making a grenade automation set up let's find that oh yeah now that's interesting grenades i guess grenades do quite a bit of damage they uh they do they take a lot of points from you though when you use them up yep yeah they're very very point heavy in that regard what i've seen people do on our server the past few days is use grenades to supplement another way of attacking so like if you're fighting a 1v1 uh, machine gun versus machine gun. <clears throat> you can throw grenades while you're shooting machine gun. Oh. And so you just get a little bit of edge. That is true. That's yeah, true. just that extra damage. And probably shock and awe, too, if the person isn't it's expecting like, what? it. What? Yeah. Right. Oh, crap. Yeah. What just exploded? <laughs> All right. It's also good if, you're, if you penetrate their base, you drop a few grenades into a some belt spaghetti and it just wrecks it yep yeah they are great for damaging buildings it looks like north is starting to get a red circuit build set up which will gain them a lot more points yep batteries are now they have a full lead. belt of batteries off the line that's good they're expanding oh they just blueprinted and epo's expanding plastics all right oh okay Batteries and plastic. What else? Uh, so, what am I not thinking of here? What what needs batteries and plastics? Well, I mean, red circuits need plastic, uh, but batteries are needed for like what lasers? <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, but they but, go uh, into science, but they don't need them for that. Right, obviously. but look at the lines going south of their oil build. It's a full line of plastic, full line of batteries. What am I? What am I forgetting here? What's what is that recipe gonna be? That is a puzzle to me as well. I don't. There's nothing that takes both, to, yeah, like in the same it. recipe. Like you need. It could be they just put two things that are outputs that are oil products, yeah. and they just put them on nearby belts. So they've got a splitter for plastics, which makes sense. One of them goes north to red circuit build, and one goes south. That's yeah. That's plastics confusing. are also used for cannon shells, which is a big thing. Ah, that's true. Okay. 
and someone in my chat just said accumulators and robot frames. Robot which, frames. Yep, I knew robot frames, but are, I didn't think about plastic being in there too because you need what uh, electric engines. It's, it's uh, for a robot frame is batteries, the red engines, circuits, and. So plastic actually isn't in there then. Isn't yeah, it's not plastic. All right. So now south is getting sulfur. So they're starting their, uh, their oil derivatives now. So they've got plastics off the line. Not as big as, as the North team. Interesting. Look at that. The North team is, has a lot more production, it, it seems, of, of the advanced stuff. But they're only 4K, behind, uh, 4K ahead. 5K ahead per minute. Interesting. That is really interesting. It looks like... South has a red circuit build up themselves. It's a bit smaller, but it's got to be, be it's got to be the amount of green circuits they're just churning out, right? Yeah, they are making a lot. They're making a lot of them. All right. Yeah, and they're banking them too. They're they're probably the the chests are probably growing. Yeah, they can't the belt can't pull them away fast enough. All right. I'm satisfied with that. Good job, South. Like we've probably made five predictions here about how Team North is going to cruise on ahead, and we've been wrong about them all. <laughs> so yeah, uh, there you go. I'm, I'm really, I'm really <laughs> looking forward to when the first team attacks. It's uh, you know, you know, it's one thing participating and in, in not really like knowing what's happening to the other teams, you know. But from this view, I'm really interested to see it from this bird's eye view. But when they actually clash here in combat. Yep. Um, so someone in my chat is asking, if the science is free, how long will it take to get a rocket? Um, that plastic belt might be for low density structures. Well, is, isn't research like, is it timed or something? Yeah. Um, over time, the amount of science you get per second increases. Yeah. So, so if you focus, you can get the rocket technology. Yeah. Ex so, if it's okay. exponential, it, it kind of speeds up as you get down. Uh, down the road in science right but you you have to kind of start that path early because you know uh if you steer away and you steer in, into military like there's a it's a long way to the rocket with, with all those rocket speeds and right. modules and all the things that you all those prereqs you kind of have to steer into that early um yeah Oh, there they go. All right, now they're banking. Uh, they just put down. Uh, Team North just put down four tanks of oil. Now they're now they're uh, they figured out what they needed to do. That's good. I guess looks like we got some potential PVP about to happen. Harmless belt bot is crossing the map. Yep. Oh yeah. On foot. No nope. car or anything though. This will be interesting. Maybe nope. just no power poles up. dragging behind him. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna pop. I, I bet. I bet he just took a ton of grenades. Maybe. Yeah. And it's just going to go do some poking. Um, now, there's obviously, since one of the win conditions is destroying the enemy silo, right? There's no base exclusion. Correct. 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 Not anymore. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess there was never a base exclusion. It was technically just no rush for 20 minutes. But yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Here we go. He's almost there's in turret these, range. This per piercing ammo. It hurts. It may catch him by surprise. Well, he he. Sh oh, yep. There's a grenade. All right, he's in. He's through There's the. Miners. Oh, he's getting hurt. He's hanging in there. Oh, he's almost dead. If he's almost dead. He's running away. Him. What's he got? Uh, 150 health out of 500. Oh, know another feature I forgot to tell you about: the lower the health you are, the slower you run. Oh. Oh. Oh look! Oh, look. He's using belts. Alastra, he's oh, using he's belts using to race. <laughs> that was that was a really good idea. Yeah. Yeah. He is running slower. He Nick Cop may be able to catch him. Yeah, Nick is going to catch him here. Yeah, look, he, he's he's gaining on him. Slow. But... Oh. That that should have been in the post. I uh, I forgot we added so many little things. It's hard yeah. to track. All right, you can go back. You can go get that list. Wow, That's important. He... Yeah, I'll, I'll do an announcement right here, actually. Uh, Karma's belt bot is uh, 
He's getting a little cocky here. <laughs> you can see he started turning back. Yeah. You know, now he's chasing him back. Now he's to giving his base. Nico chase. And look at that. He's pulled three people away from their job. That's that's pretty good, right? That's one guy pulling three people away from their normal job. Yeah, I mean that's why, like Anti said, attacking is so strong. You know, because you can attack with one person. Yep. Oh man, this is gonna be close. Ah, oh, look at that. When you're low in health, you're a little slower. Yeah. And Alastra may. Oh, yeah, th this is what you're. Die here. This is what lose. you're. This is what you're talking about. You can uh, grenade and machine gun. Yep. Yeah, Alastra needs to get the get some help with the turrets too. Yeah, harmless bot runs away. Yeah, good. Good. They have. They all have repair packs on them. Looks. Uh, oh, looks like they lost a power pole. So some of that line is not all the way up. Oh, harmless belt is going to suicide. There, no, he's not. He's still alive. Wow. How What's going on with that? Is that armor or is that reduced, increased? Oh, it must be the increased health percentage. Well, Alastra is shooting with his shotgun, which is very unreliable. It's not very yeah. good for PvP, and so you get a lot of upgrades or the combat shotgun. Right. See, that's a that's a good tactic to run along the belt, but that's expensive belt. That red belt is expensive. And you have to do right. He had his belt pointing the wrong direction. I think it actually slipped down. Well, see, that's when you're running diagonally, you can't really do it. Though. <laughs> they were going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> See, look now, Harmless Bot's going back. Look crazy. I mean, this is this is the. It, it's someone who's participated in PvP oh, and Nico's got a car. That. He's had it. Nico's got a car. Screw this, he says. Oh yeah, he's he's dead. All these he's trying to block. <laughs> it's not bad. Throw a radar down. Ram that. Get the car to ram it and lose some car health. Oh yeah, Nico's gonna get him. He can't outrun it. <laughs> oh yeah, there he is. He rammed him once, and Nico just needs a little bit more, and he'll get his get all of his stuff in his inventory. Hey, oh, first nice. blood! Just killed him. First blood, Nico. Good job. Get some, some decent stuff. And killed by car. There you go. All right. Not not pierced, not ammo. Just pierced by car. And you just ran oh, him down. Circuits, machine gun, plastic. I didn't see all of the stuff that was that he grabbed. Got his armor. Yeah, Lash needs to pick those belts up. Those are those are a little valuable, especially this early. Red belts are uh, it, um, a little special this early. It looks like that. Meanwhile, the uh, South is setting up some massive uh, explosive production. I'm yep. thinking maybe they're, they're doing landmines again potentially. South has also taken the uh, the rate lead, the score per minute lead, but hasn't taken the score lead. They were then 70k. Yeah. Oh, and there's there's the uh, there's the explosives. Oh yes, Stig on South is doing his signature move, which is tanks. Yeah. Because he's making a bunch of tank shell automation there. And, and until you get rockets or personal laser defenses those tanks are very hard to fight against oh yeah they are i did Especially a little right i mean even with that even with rockets if with the robots with repair packs the robots typically repair it before the rockets can even do much damage yep and remember personal laser defenses has have been uh, reduced to i think point five point fifty five what was the it's, it's electric damage is the list in there. Let me look at starting conditions. Oh, nope, it's combat. 50%. 50%. Yeah, so half of what, cool. half of PLDs. That's, I mean. And they're still powerful. They, they still, still, oh, are. yeah, I was just about to say, that <laughs> They that means they still hurt. They just don't, yeah. it's, it's six shots instead of three, right, is what we're saying. Right. <laughs> but they're still very powerful. And, by the way, they're costly, too, because you shove five lasers into it plus blue boards right so it's a oh another fight like you do pay for it oh here we go dan in a car dan lost his car and dan hit harmless with a slow capsule so he's running very very slowly yep good 
slow See capsules. Cool blocks on them. Yeah, you guys were terrorists with those slow capsules last last game. <laughs> <laughs> They're so good. Yep. I feel Rip. like poison would actually be pretty good too. Yep. Poison does a lot of damage. And on this server, we have it doubled, the poison damage. Oh. Wow. Well, on yeah, your ser on your server or on this map? On this map. Okay. On both. On this map. See again. Would have been nice to <laughs> put was, that in the goddamn post. That was in there. That was in the combat option. It says biological two hundred percent. Oh. But okay. Okay. Poison is considered right. biological damage. Okay. Okay. Poison is bio damage. I think that brings it up to actual viable. Psycho right. here. Right. I've been quiet. <laughs> I. Uh... So Dan's taking out wow. Dan's taking out the uh, radar network. Slow, slow thing. Uh, his slow bot has been on him. You can see him pulsing with green. You zoom way in. Dan's got to get out of there. He's making the mistake of using a shotgun. Yep. He's got that awesome slowdown capsule, but the wrong weapon. Yep. So, uh, who threw down the the wall? Was that I guess Dan threw wall on him? No, that was the other guy. Nice bot. Oh, harmless but put walled around his own self. I don't know why. Yeah, that was a little bit confusing. weird. <laughs> shotgun shells are also doubled. Let me look at, make sure. Still, the well, weapon like is the shotgun. Yeah, shotgun shell. Yeah, but it's scatter shot, so you don't, you know. Right. right. You, not, not all. Not great. not the whole shot hits them. It's, it goes out like this, and you, you're not using the combat shotgun. Right, but the wall would have blocked it. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. why he. That's a good point. Yeah, smart. Um, there you go. It's like Nico is getting flammables. Flamethrowers are, I, I believe, flame flamethrowers are pretty darn good for destroying buildings. They can do a lot, but it's also a prerequisite for rockets. That yep. is true. Well, yep. So Nico, they got one car sitting up there that uh, looks like Nico made. That's the car with uh, Harmless Bot's face imprinted on the bumper. <laughs> <laughs> it looks, kills, kills colon one car. All right. Yeah. All now, right. what I'm curious about is if anyone's going to use this uranium patch. I think you and I have both been doing everything we can to yes. see the settings so that people will actually use it and do some nuclear stuff. Yeah, Put it right outside the walls. Maybe. Yep. Yeah, I the, mean, uranium is a ton of points. It's if a you ton can of get points. There. If it's, it is, it's a ton of points. And uh, so we both crossed, uh, both teams have crossed 1 million points now, which is great. So see, 10 million is not far away. And we're, and we're you know, it, it's not, I think it's, I think 10 million is kind of a low now that I think about it. I, I was way more comfortable at 100 million than I was at 10 million. <laughs> um, and uh, the other thing um, is that, yeah, with regard to uranium, like the only time I ever saw anyone do anything with uranium was uh, was Bilko had one, I think, in the very first event south of their base. And Bilko ran over there to try and throw down some miners, and I was just gleeful. I was, yeah, here we go. Yeah, and then right. whatever, for whatever reason, it fizzled out, and, and uh, the power was cut, and then... Bilka never went back to it, and I just thought, ah, oh, their the hopes dashed. And then I think we got within, I think once we once we got within an hour of time expiring, I, I said, oh, there's no hope because you, I think you probably need more than an hour to get to get enough uh, centrifuges and and all of that cycle to get a decent amount of U two thirty eight to build anything, right? Right. So. So you, 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 you got to jump on it early, but look, I mean, look, this is, this is like, they went farther out for their oil than they did this uranium, right? I know. Mm. I, I handed it to them. Yeah. You hand it to them. I guess you got to put I it mean, in, in the base next time. I, yeah. Next time. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Just in, in the base. In the base. Just give it. Like here. Just re like replace the iron with it. In a chest. <laughs> in a chest. In a chest. <laughs> Please. I mean, they do have to get, I mean, isn't, I, I'm. Forget, isn't there like you, there is a research to be able to even mine it though, isn't there? It's true. It's yep. true. There's, yeah, it's yep. um, red, green, blue, and it's a thousand. Is that right? I think so. Is that yeah, right? It's pretty expensive. All right, rocketry. Uh, Nico has researched rocketry. 
North has laser turrets on their mind, so they're going that that direction. All right. Let's look at their production while there's no uh, there's no skirmishes. Nico is yeah. Nico's heading oh, up with he's a tank. heading up with a tank. There you go. Oh man. You might could see a uh, wall breakthrough if he can, if he comes straight for the south. They should see him on radar right now. He's he is within earshot of this radar. He may just kill that radar. Be smart. He I, well. I don't know. I don't. I don't know that. Even so, I don't know that North can defend this very well. Right. I mean, right. What are they gonna do? They need lasers or rockets or mines, and they don't have or mines. Mine. Right. They're actually picking up the turrets. Picking up turrets. Yeah. All I right, found that goes. walls are a really good way to defend against tanks. You yes. just have walls right in front of a tank, and yep. it hits it and takes down a huge amount of damage. Immobilizes it. Mm -hmm. Showcased in the last game. Oh! Bot scatter. Let's see if Harmless Bot can... Uh... Oh, look at that. The bots are... are uh, over... <laughs> the bots and the repair packs are overcoming all those grenades. Yep. Oh, mm. There goes the walls. There goes the walls up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, they got him now. I think they got him. I'm surprised he didn't wait until he got tank shells. Uh, yeah, I don't see any tank shells coming out. Yep, I he's just got he grenades. Shot one or two, maybe. 1350 maybe health, color. and oh, they're out of <laughs> <laughs> these grenades, man. <laughs> these grenades. And they're shooting him. He's down to a 1250 health. They're just it all going to pile on him. Nothing you can see. Oh yeah. Oh, they're going to slow him. They need to put <laughs> the shells, put the shells they're back in the turrets. Here. Put the shells back in those turrets. Turrets are going to do more damage. They can do more yep. damage in your machine gun. They they need to pull ammo out of the turrets that are next to them and bring it over. That's what Epo's doing right now. Yep. Good. All right. Epo's got that one. Uh, that one on the right firing on him. He's at uh, eleven ninety <laughs> health. Just leave him there, man. He's gonna. I mean, Nico will run out of. Grenades, I guess. I think he's just handcrafting them at this point. And look uh, at look at Team North's uh, points. They've used so many grenades. They're down 40k from 40k to 21k. Grenades cost a lot of points. Yeah, look at that. It's an expensive yeah. fight. It's not an Is expensive he... fight for Nico. Very expensive fight for North. Oh, he just gets out. Oh, he's, he's out. Like... He's out. Yeah, he, he needs to bail. He just picked it up. That was really smart. He's yep. probably going to place it and hop back in again. Yep, all these bots are running after him. Smart thing, he should just place it because they can't even kill him with their guns at this point in the tank. Especially now that he's away from the turrets. Yep. Yeah, you're not gonna, really you're gonna catch him. He's not placing it down again. Well, they're running at the same speed. They're not really gonna catch him unless he stops or he runs into. No, but I mean, at this point, he could almost just turn around and run him over. I guess Cortex and. Oh, no. <laughs> Belt trick. Yep, there he, he goes. Oh, he's at his yep, fuel. He he's got to put the fuel. fuel in. All right. Very expensive fight for the north. Yeah, at this point, north should just go back to the base. Yes. The south is just about to reach equal oh, they, points. Oh, and they're going to pass him. Yep, they're going to pass him. And south has taken the lead. Yes, there they go. South has just taken the lead. <laughs> There you go. Good job, Nico. Right? Yep. Results. They just got the lead. <clears throat> All right. Yep. So. You need to get some better research going. Yep. You need to get that uh, that tank. Oh, oh, power issue. What's going on with power? Oh, they just must have. Uh, okay. Yeah, it was the line full of coal. <laughs> Notice what Team Norse just changed their science to. Yep, tanks. They've been converted. <laughs> yep, so, hey, we need we need tanks too. We need to do that to them. Yeah. They um. I I think you at this point you you pretty much just need lasers. I mean you could I mean the walls work great, but even then you could see they just can't kill them. Yep. So they need that and landmines, lasers and landmines. And landmines, landmines are really good against them. And also, landmines do a great number on buildings too. I saw, so in the last mm -hmm. in the last con, uh, uh, contest, three RA would just run in between 
you know, rows of buildings or miners and just plant like four landmines, you know, one, like, like you would plant them at the same rate of power poles and the landmine just sinks in and then blows up and damages nice splash area and just totally trashes my mi uh, miners was the one that you guys were using it um for mostly i think it was uh red car was yeah. out they, fighting against anti's uh anti and zulon's point harvesters you know the random with, with solar plus just a million miners to go grab some copper points um which speaking of which there's some more copper coming in <clears throat> oh yeah. nico's back Landmines just do absurd amount of damage. Yep. To everything. <laughs> and here comes uh, oh, Nico has doubled back. Harmless bot's gonna give chase, but oh, he's gonna get hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's out of he's out of gas. <laughs> he's out of gas. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 he's gonna pick it up. Oh, he's, no, he's not. He's gonna, gonna, gonna run. Away. And run. Yep. Hey, look, Harlow's bot wants to get in it. Neutral. Oh, there's gonna. I think Nico is just. Give me mercy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is just... he like? Is he just trying to die to reset, or? I don't know. Not doing I don't know. Give me bot mercy. Bot looks like he's out of ammo. Nothing. I think. I think the the. Uh, oh, he's got a turret. Oh, he's pulling ammo up from it. Yeah, he's just he's dying. All right, there you go. Um, he doesn't have much on him. One of my one people, someone <laughs> in my chat was pointing out how silly the uh, opposing walls look at the other base, like south walls here at north base, because that's slightly different color. It's like just a jumble here. Let's right. Look. Oh yeah. The right labyrinth. There. He needs to go home. Yeah, he was just resetting. Yep. That's the first call so for you... mercy we've ever called. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do um, do they respawn with the modular armor again? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, they get a new fresh fresh batch of uh batch of stuff. And and bots, I guess. Yep. Yep. Okay. So there's really no penalty to dying at that right. unless. You just had really expensive stuff on you. Lots of debate like, about that, which is why I've been uh, I've I've set mm, the contest that I was organizing. I set it to starting equipment uh, small, which means you know medium. Right. You're getting like all this good stuff with you, this armor and these bots and all that. And the only setting that really doesn't get you the you know get you kind of too far down the road. Of it now is an advantage to die is small, right? So I don't know. South is now thirty k ahead, which they have been thirty k behind the whole map or the whole time. Yeah, they are. They caught up well. It looks like Stig is refueling his tank with wood and is probably heading over for another attack. He should. <laughs> he left the base without a fuel. He should. Uh, Wait, where is he? Oh yeah, there he is. He should. He should just at least fill up coal. Um, yeah. There's plenty of coal in their base. They sh would it may not have the right um, acceleration. Right. I expect a lot from Stig. I bet he has a bunch of explosive cannon shells, and he's going to do a lot of damage if yeah. the other team doesn't respond well. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say. I hope he brought cannon shells. All right, he's got a little bit to go. About halfway on the map, and they should look at all those radars just sucking up power. This is ridiculous right here. Look at um, look at this radar Fire. patch. Can you guys see that? Oh yeah! yeah. Oh my goodness! <laughs> here, I'm gonna take that down. So Team South put that on Team North's electric grid to uh, suck power. Oh, they, okay. Oh, I didn't oh, see that. Right. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, you can power. That's really interesting. Yep. Yeah, All right. I've seen people do that with like 10 times the amount of radars. Oh, yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> so if Team South puts another puts another power pole down, it still pulls off of Team South's grid? Right. So you can, you can add North's South. Grid. Yeah, you can add South power poles and it still works, right? Oh, here right. comes Stig. Stig's through the wall. Almost. Almost. 
There's a hole in it, at least. If he can get in oh, oh boy. somewhere, yeah, with these cannon shells, he's going to... He needs to wait for those bots. Havoc. Oh, and here comes the, uh, the wall. Uh, almost had him trapped. Kill the power poles. Good, good choice. Oh, and he's at the silo. Oh, is he going for the silo? Oh, jeez. Oh, and here come the uh, robots are repairing. <clears throat> he's wait, trapped him just... in. They're like, wait, well... they're out repairing. No, he they, are. they are. Because your robots can repair, and then the player can repair. Yep. Oh, and... Acidos oh, take Acidos taking a couple of tanks to the uh, tank shells to the face. He's gonna he Give might they might damage. run Stig out of the uh, out of cannon shells. Both teams. Oh no, it's it's going down though. They may be running out of repair packs. Yep. Both teams shell. Oh, both team points are taking a dive north, especially. Yikes! So he's trapped. He can't. Stig oh, can't north. go anywhere. All these grenades, I think, is that what's subtracting yes. their points? Yes, most of them. But look, they've got a turret there that's just pounding them with that piercing ammo. Stig's repair bots Pitching. are going. Yeah, they need to start shooting Stig's repairs. Yep. They're uh, <laughs> and it's out. They've run even, out of bullets. Even if he can't kill this silo, look at this negative nine thousand points. I yep. mean, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, here we go. So we are one hour in, and we've got a first attack on the silo. Oh, it's in the yellow. They've stopped repairing it. Nope, there's one bot left. They just win now if they don't, if they don't oh, get on it. Oh, it went down to orange. And red. And, and red. He's like four or five more shots away. Epo's attacking him with melee. He's just, oh my goodness. He's got, oh, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> they caught it. So it close. was like literally two shots. Very expensive defense. For oh, North. down to 100. Wait, that's it. it. Oh, they just won. They did it? That's, did it, that's did it weird. Die? It died. It's like there's two styles on top of each other. I think it's a bug. Yeah, it like died yeah. and then respawned or something. Weird. Well, there you go. Good job, Stig. <laughs> wow. Stig, man, that, that, was, that was an awesome job. Really smart to just go straight for the silo. They out-tanked him. It looks like there's a bug where two yeah, silos don't stop each other and Stig destroyed one. Yeah. Yeah, look. Because I saw it wasn't healing steadily. We would see like a ghost of a uh, drop down earlier. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. It was like there's two silos being damaged at once. I've never seen that before. I don't know why it's showing up here. I need I need control of the reason. timer is what I need control of. Like, just pause that. Uh, pause that. It says new round begins in two minutes. All right. Well, there. <laughs> Stig. Quick victory. Yeah. There you go. Most uh, two ways, uh, four ways to win. And Stig chose his. Uh, uh, Stig chose the most direct. By the way, I forgot to show you guys. I do have. Uh, I think so. By the way, go out and get your uh, Factorio shirts. Factorio.com backslash store. Get your Factorio shirts today. Got mine for this event. Very nice. Dang, that looks nice. Uh, there you go. I don't know. <laughs> Usually, not these don't go that that long of a. Oh now, oh here's the, here's the laser turrets. They just got they lasers. In. You, yeah, they, now they, they can't out damage the bots repairing them. So, is there a All way right. to have them uh, target the bots instead? I don't think so. Uh, I guess not. Yeah, look at his tank. Uh, barely going down. There you go. All right. Well, there we have it. Let's wrap this. Uh, let's at least wrap this video uh, for everybody. Yeah. So, uh, Exterminator at the moment is uh, embroiled in a Clusterio event. Uh, you can go to... What is that link? Let's see. It's Clusterio... Dot just my random stuff. Dot yeah. All right. So this is uh, it's a huge event. We have like three or four different communities involved, and we have a total of twenty-five um, Factorio instances or server nodes going on 
you know, five or six physical servers. And, and what the mod cloud story allows you to do is transfer materials uh, and liquids through the cloud, like through the internet with a special chest and items, and then request them back out of the cloud into another server. So it's basically like a requester and provider chest, but instead of within a logistics network, it's literally doing it over the internet. So what this allows you to do then is what we're aiming for is a 60,000 science pack per minute base, because with all these different worlds going, you know, we can have three or four worlds that just do mining and they send the ore into the cloud. And then we take that and pull onto a different server that smelts it and then sends those plates up, so on and so forth to make a mega base that would be pretty much just impossible to make on a single computer. Yeah, correct. And then once you run out, you just, you know, oh, get another node, another server node, and then, you know, throw more on there to do it. Yeah. So every every server has its own task. Like, uh, and oh, can it can it transfer power? Unfortunately, it cannot transfer power. See, that's um, weird. So it has to do like rocket fuel. Is I guess the most you can the most energy density you can transfer across the web is power. It is is I guess rocket fuel. Like Probably. I mean, you could do nuclear, but at this point, what we're doing is each server is pretty much just doing its own solar setup. Oh, okay. Just the power itself uh, for UPS reasons. Right. You know, UPS. solar instead of steam or something. Right. But, uh, but yeah, so, I mean, we have, uh, let me get you, it's uh, really cool. We have this, uh, like, little diagram here you can see. Yeah, I saw that. All the, um, I saw that in the uh, in the Reddit post. This is cool. Okay, yeah, then you can probably just... Yeah, let me go to it. I think it's the one that's that pinned. Up. Oh, no, mine's pinned now. Hang on, there's Clusterio. Yeah, it's, uh, and it shows all of the servers being linked together and kind right. of what they're using for it. So Clusterio is a mod. Also, RSO is needed. The resource mm -hmm. spawn overhaul, you need those two. I did join earlier today, and I just kind of looked in, looked at, uh, looked in on it. Let me sh put this in my chat, a little, a little uh, picture. Um, here it is. It's got a little graph on, a graphic on it that shows all the servers that are all connected up. My server is not on that because it's uh, it's up and down all the time, and we're using it for PvP events and all that business. But the uh, all of these servers you have, yours, you got six, five of them. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Something like that. It's crazy. Five of them, and then FMMO guys have four. Um. ADM has three. Ryan has two. Bentham, Explosive Gaming, Lizian, Redmu has two, and iCraft has four. There you go, and they they kind of see show what they're uh, what they're being uh, what they're being uh, used for, etc. So there you go. So it's just it's just a mega base that spans. You know, like at some point you can't add any more CPU and RAM to the server, so you need more servers that that can kind of link it to it. So. And then there's a one other link that is pretty interesting to show where they are. It's clusterio dot um, just my random stuff dot com. Put that link in there. That shows how much is being produced of everything, I think, or how much has been produced, or how much transferred. What is that? What are uh, what are those shows, numbers in there? Yeah. That shows currently what's in the cloud. Oh, okay. And then it can get like if you click on one, it'll even if you click on one of those items, it'll take a second, but then it will show you a, like all these graphs of where it's coming from and where it's going to. Uh huh. Okay, so your rate, it shows you that you have a million red science pack ones, and your rate, I guess you can Let's see if we can get it from here. I don't know that you can see the actual like per minute rate. Yeah. That's probably something they'll implement at some point, but. Yeah, there's sulfur. Jeez. That's a ton. Yeah, all those graphs pop up. Well, well, there you go. If you want to be a part of it, it's it's not really open to everyone. Um, you have to be uh, put on a list to get into the club. Um, there's a big guy in a turtleneck with a clipboard outside. And you gotta uh, you gotta apply for it. Go go to the FMMO Discord, 
which I think there's a link on that where the on that Reddit post. Let's put that Reddit post in my chat. Everybody, see if you want to be a part of that. You, and they kind of ask you that, hey, show us some stuff that you've done. I'm not sure how much is there. I think it's just an a uh, um, extra hurdle for uh, to to help weed out the griefers, etc. So. Uh, how many servers are involved is a good question. 20. Um, there's 20, like 25 or 26 instances, mm -hmm. but we only have, I think, five or six physical servers. So, you know, one server may have like five instances running on it. Right. Which is becoming a problem. We are hitting some UPS problems in really? the, some of the maps due to that. Oh, well, there you go. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I jumped in for maybe seven minutes earlier this morning, and it was uh, it was pretty interesting. So, uh, interesting looking setup. So good. So if you want to go uh, check that out, so you can go to, out to that Reddit post. Let's do a shout out. Make sure you're following Exterminator Five. Um, go give him a, a look. He's, he plays Factorio. He's probably he's uh, probably you've seen him on YouTube. It's way more. Uh, his YouTube presence is pretty amazing. Um, I would say, yeah, let's see how many subscribers you have now. YouTube. How many, or do you know that off, uh, offhand? Uh, I think 22,000. Ah, dang. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, let's put it, put that link in the chat. 22,000 subscribers. There you go. Uh, YouTube.com backslash user. And then there's his, uh, Sonar being you dead whatever. And it looks like a random code. <laughs> Uh, if it's uh, if that's too complicated, uh, youtube.com slash exterminator works as well. Oh, really? You got you, got you a cool exterminator with the five? Uh, no, no five. Ah, oh, there you go. Exterminating a community. There you go. Yeah, all right, go, and, uh, <laughs> go follow. I, I do, I also want to, you know, give a shout out to you, um, because. There's a lot of people, I think, in my chat who don't know Clown Town. Uh, you do all kind of stuff. I mean, you host these PvP events, which are just amazingly organized, man. Super like, fun. It's it's unbelievable how organized you are with these, and the shout casting's awesome. And then you do, um, you've been doing some some modded, some Bob's Angels, and some Factorio Extended, right? Yes. So uh, so the way that that came about, we were doing some Bob's and Angels, and uh, so uh, I think somewhere time in February, I let my subscribers vote on what we would do next. They all voted for Bob's and Angels to try and make me cry on air, and then they skedaddled. And so and then it was just me sitting on air with Ash, my son, and we're crying on air. So uh, <laughs> I bailed on the Bob's and Angels. We were really close. We may, we may dig it up again, uh, but we were really close on that. But we, we shifted back over because if you've ever played Factorio Extended, it was an author named Nath Gamer, and Nath Gamer uh, uh, stopped ma editing the mod at... Um, at uh, version 15 of Factorio, and then he, uh, we sent him some notes and said, "Hey, we really enjoy the mod. We'd like to do, we'd like to do more. Um, uh, we'd like to do more of this. And uh, uh, here, uh, what, do you, what are your plans for 16?" And then weeks went by, and then we said, "Okay, uh, Jimmy John from one of my subs comes in and says, here's some code." I don't even want credit. I've done the work for you. Just push this into GitHub. You know, like, let's, let's do it. Let's push this. Took, take my code. We did all the work. And at some point, he never responded. And so and then uh, finally, we just said, all right, we're going to make our own version of the mod. We went by for about a month, maybe six weeks, trying to get this guy to upgrade it. And so we just made a new mod because I think uh, he's probably done with modding at this time. So we corrected a bunch of errors. And so the mod, the new name of the mod is Factorio Extended plus or if you just search jimmy uh the for user jimmy john j m m y j o n 711 and uh or if you actually point mo uh, mods in my chat you'll see the link and it's got all his stuff um, wow awesome so Sounds like a ton he of fun. he did a ton of work on this on this thing and it's really good so the extended mod is um it's nothing cheaty or brokey or let you get farther than you should or ori you know should originally but it adds level one two and three upgrades on all of your default uh items so like for example it gives you a solar panel that you can upgrade to but it, and it's four times as powerful as your normal solar panel but 
it consumes four solar panels to get into it, plus some other complexity, like plus redboards. So you do have to go through the hassle of making four solar panels, right? And then mm -hmm. also now you're in redboard territory, so you need redboards to for solar panels instead of just green. And then you combine all that, and then you can make a a solar panel that is that is four times as powerful. So what it, what it effectively lets you do is you can make a mega base with upgraded tools. You still you're still pulling all the material down. You're you're still mining a ton of stuff. You still have to have the material the 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 uh, smelting as well as the uh, assembly to do it, but you can make all this cool stuff, um, and you can make a mega base in a smaller footprint. Uh, it's really, really good. So, wow. anyway, uh, that is that was started by Nath Gamer. If you go out there and do Factorio Extended Plus, you can go find it. So, uh, oh, by the way, thank you, Badger, my partner. One other plug I'll give you guys. Uh, my partner, uh, the video game Badger, he's found at uh, twitch.tv backslash TVG Badger. He's my, uh, my business partner. We do a show also every Thursday. That is uh, just make each other laugh. It is does, has nothing to do with factor, Factorio, but it's called uh, Twitch.tv backslash Enough About You. It's my show from a long time ago. William is my uh, William the Video Game Badger. He is my partner on that. He's he's good. I'm really good. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> just and uh, we just we crack wise and we make each other laugh on that show. And it's something you can have on the back in the background. And we have a good time. It's ju just a little comedy show where we crack wise and uh, uh, talk about dude stuff, I would say. And he just raided me with, uh, he's, been, he's also a partner Twitch streamer, so go follow him, TVG Badger. And he is, he is good, he is good people. Um, someone you want to follow. And uh, I'll give him a plug too, because he's, uh, he's awesome. He's a great, great partner to have and a good friend of mine. So uh, He also needs a haircut. So, um, all right, 3RA Gaming. Uh, if you go do, let's plug these guys. These guys are defending champs of the PvP Blue Factorio Blue Circuit event. You go to 3RAGaming.com, and you can check them out. They play a, ver a various number of games. They also uh, they have a Discord out there for, um, for their Factorio Discord for their games, and those guys are the ones to beat. They went up and... Uh, smashed the def the several time over defending champs uh, was Team Steel Axe and uh, they pretty much uh, tore everybody up pretty good in the last uh, PvP match that I uh, that I had they did such a good job and so go talk to uh, Juicy Juice um, and uh, Psycho those guys are kind of the uh, the faces of 3RA Gaming and um, Factorio division, I would say, and I'll put their links in chat. Also, go give them a follow. They stream this sort of stuff. So if you were, if you are into PvP, those guys do a uh, great job. Um, they, I mean, pretty much they're not into mega bases. I would say they're into kicking each other's ass in Factorio every day. And so, uh, you want to get good at PvP? Go get in with those guys, or uh, the other a uh, couple other streamers that are doing uh, that are trying to get into PvP and they wanna they wanna um, they wanna be champs. Uh, Elric is doing uh, is is uh, doing a lot of PvP drilling. Shred guy, those those savages are doing some. Uh, uh, Shred guys doing a bunch of that stuff as well, and uh, and also the reigning champs, uh, anti elites, and the uh, team Steel Axe. Got to believe they're going to have something for us. The next PvP event I will host, Shoutcast, is put this on your calendars right now, May 12th. It'll be sometime around this time. Uh, we'll, be, we'll see if we can do the same things as we did above, which is uh, these four ways to win. But we, uh, I kind of liked uh, kind of giving teams a bunch of different options. In this, in this game, we saw somebody get straight to tanks, get, get right, right to um, the explosive uh, cannon shells, and just go take out a silo before the other team could get uh, could get their feet settled uh, underneath them. That's that's your strategy right there. If you uh, you want to kill someone else's rocket, that's why you do it. They they had they had bots. They had free research. They had batteries. Uh, they had they were getting to laser turrets. They they had uh, opportunities to react, but that's a way that's a way to do it. Um, but uh, May twelfth is our next uh, blue circuit event, which is reserved for best of the best. I'll be organizing that as well as shoutcasting that one so look for my twitter 
which is in the chat, or my Discord, which is uh, links are also in chat, and uh, or just hang out in the Factorio subreddit on uh, on Reddit, and uh, I will post all of the starting conditions there and garner support that way. So there you have it. We'll see if anybody can come for the defending champions. Yeah, so def got defending they champs. See what they got. Yep, the defending champs 3RA have already checked in. They are available, and they uh, they're gonna come. Uh, they're gonna come kick your butt um, if uh, uh, they're they're gonna they're ready to take anybody take anyone on. So uh, um, and they called their shot. The first one they did, uh, they got second place and seemed to hate it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they, barely second yeah barely second <laughs> barely second place and they hated every second of it um and in the second event we had they they rose up and just dominated everybody it was it was uh really great to see it was great great contest and i want to uh, say to anyone listening please come check out our server if you don't have any pvp experience it's running 24 7 mess around get used to it it's a ton of fun and everyone is welcome yep yeah, so yeah, defending champs. So this is this is this is your jam right here. If you wanna, if you wanna, if you were watching this today and you said, "Hey, I can do that," and you want to play, the defending champs have an open server ready to mix it up with you, and you can get your tactics down, you can learn some stuff, and you can be ready to uh, ready to compete in the next event. So join one of these streamers, subscribe to them, get in there, get uh, get your practice in, go to Three RA Gaming, and uh, and like the defending champs are teaching you how to do this stuff do not miss mm -hmm. this opportunity like my analogy is if you're into boxing and mike tyson had a boxing gym open to everyone who wanted to go if you were a boxing fan you would go i can what you mean i can go box with mike tyson right now yes you can <laughs> so go do it <laughs> uh it's open for you it's all right there for you so uh follow them on uh, on streaming follow their go in there in their discord go to 3ragaming.com for all of that information all right, um, I think that is uh, that is all we had for today. It was a good good event, and uh, let's go. Is, are they still in the channels? I, we did our plugs pretty easily. Okay, North Team is skedaddled. Stig is still in there. Let's go. Let's go talk to uh, South Team and uh, talk to Stig real quick. Yeah. All right, let's switch over. Stig. Hello. You, you savage. Well done. Good job. <laughs> you savage. Well done. Uh, <clears throat> tell tell us about what uh, uh, tell us about what you did over there. We we looked and we saw that you were making a bunch of um, uh, explosive cannon shells, and then our attention was drawn away by um, the bot guy trying to run around and uh, create some havoc in the middle. Uh, how many tank shells did you carry over with you? Uh, 120. 120. <laughs> well, yeah. how, how many did you use? Uh, 120. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Good. Well, I don't know what point the silo was killed, though. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, there you go. And you had your you had your bots, which would out repair anything that the other team had. They had pier they had four piercing ammo turrets on you. Couldn't couldn't out hit the uh the bots that were repairing you i think they were also throwing a bunch of grenades at you too and uh just went straight for the silo and uh and got it and uh one hour and two minutes in got the win good job so uh w w the rest of your teammates seemed surprised that that you <laughs> that it ended yes i was really surprised when he was in silo base I <laughs> yes a lot of surprise here too yeah, it was good. Well, well done, uh, well done, guys. Uh, it looks like you guys picked the right research at the right time. Uh, yes. I think Nico, did you? You were the one. I think you changed the research to tanks to get uh, to get tanks early, right? Yes. Yep. Ran over there and smashed uh, smashed some of the walls in for a little bit, and then. Um, yes, I was trying to get the attention of at least two of them. I yeah. Three, at the same time, and then uh, my team could work on things and we yeah the, the, lead. the attackers have the advantage it seems because when i noticed when nico went over there to go shoot up their walls um 
three of the team of the North team went over to respond and took them away from their jobs. Yeah. Yes. So, my only goal was to have at least two of them following me. Mm -hmm. So mission because accomplished. So and yeah. they Come threw on. a million grenades at you, which their score yes. went, uh, went way down. Um, and even went into the negatives because they were throwing so many grenades. Oh, did we lose him? Yeah. Yeah, so well done. Uh, well done, South Team, uh, for putting the right combo of attack and, uh, and research into play. So very, very good. Um, <clears throat> all right. All right. Well, um, thanks, everybody, uh, for being a part of this. W well done, uh, Team South. We'll see if we can get Clonin to maybe uh, give us some new options in this PvP. I like, uh, I like where um, the multiple ways to win. Um, it's, uh, it seems, seems good. seems to give... Uh, maybe we have a checkbox of ways to win instead of a uh, drop-down menu, Ram. Right. So, yeah, that would be pretty yeah. cool. That would be good. Um, All right. And with that, I think I'm going to have to run. All right. But uh, this was a ton of fun. Uh, I'm glad to have joined you for shoutcasting. It was awesome. Really great match overall. Yeah, good stuff. All right, uh, me too. Uh, so I'll wrap the stream. So thank you, 3RA. Thank you, Team uh, North and South. Congratulations, Team South. And uh, we'll put up all the results and everything on uh, Reddit. And uh, thanks for everything. Good job, guys. Thanks, Clown. That was fun. All thanks. right, see you guys. All right, let's wrap this guy. Um, Let's see. Thank you very much for being a part of this. I'm gonna close the YouTube video right now. We'll stay on for stream for just a little bit, and we'll do our uh, we'll do our giveaway. Again, the giveaway is only for the live viewers right now. So, um, um, for YouTube, if you want to be uh, uh, you want to see more of this, go to twitch.tv backslash clowntown. Uh, the link is in the description as well as on the Reddit post. All the results and everything are in the description down below. Thank you very much for being a part of this. Hit that like button. Subscribe. And uh, we'll keep doing these events for you. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. <laughs>